Hey guys, it's Lydia here, and today I'm going to be making a video that has been requested by many of you on how to change the settings when you upgrade your Ortor laser so that your build area or your cut area is um, changed in the software. So let's get right into that so you guys can upgrade your machine without any struggle. Alright, so all I'm going to do is hop right to the computer and show you guys uh, how to change your settings so that you don't run into any errors because I've had lots of uh, comments on my video, the upgrade video of this machine on how to do this. So this video is for you and let's go right to the computer. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go up here and uh, go to edit and you're going to go down to device settings and right here as you can see it says width and height and so you're going to want to change that to your new coordinates or your new um, size of your machine so mine is 914 and 787 so all you, you put that in there and you press OK and then you're going to want to go over here to console and type in dollar sign dollar sign and you're going to see a bunch of numbers here and you're going to see dollar sign 130 equals and dollar sign 131 equals. And you're also going to want to change those to your new coordinates. So just like you can see here, it says dollar sign 130 equals and then my new coordinate, which is 914. And then you're just going to press enter and it will say OK. That means it's been changed successfully. And you're going to do the same thing for the dollar sign 131 equals and change that to the other size which is 180 or 787 for me and again it's just going to say okay so then you can check to make sure it changed by doing dollar sign dollar sign again and um, just check your numbers and now you can see that it is successfully changed alright so that is it I hope that helped you if you have any questions um, on changing the settings please let me know down below in the comments again I've been requested by a lot of you to make this video so I really hope it helped you and you don't get any more errors on your machine um, this is really it was really simple I probably should have um, talked about it in the build video of this machine so I do apologize for that but I hope this helped you guys um, and I do also plan on making more videos really soon now that high school there's only like two days left of high school for me and then the summer starts so hopefully I'll be making some more build videos I actually have another laser installed on there someone sent me that to show the cut quality of it so hopefully I'll be making a video about that once I do a lot more testing with it but I also want to hear what you guys want to see on this channel so please let me know down below in the comments anything is welcome I am trying to get an actual laser um, box like a already pre-built laser to review on this channel uh, it's a little bit more difficult because I have a smaller channel but hopefully I will be able to review one of those eventually for you guys it's a more compact laser than just a diode it's actually a co2 laser so that would be super cool to show you guys um, but I'm working on that but again, if you have any questions about this video or about um, the future on videos and stuff, please let me know down below in the comments. Uh, hopefully you enjoy the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.